Well, we've been motoring for, what, four hours? Probably. Been a long motoring day. Wendy was wrong again, imagine that. But uh, looks like it's Spinnaker to the rescue. Uh, we finally got at least a little bit. I think there's, I don't know, seven or eight knots out there and it's pushing us along right around four and a half knots. So our destination's not much further. It's another great day. Tomorrow the rains are coming, so I think we're actually gonna probably head back here soon. And uh, we got some projects, uh, project lists going now that uh, things are breaking that, that we're out here. Go figure. So, but, Spinnaker to the rescue. All right, so here we are in the forward head and here is our anchor locker all the way in the bow. And uh, as you guys may have heard and know is that uh, we've been having a lot of trouble with this uh, tube that the anchor chain runs down through and then it'll pile up the chain right here and it will then back up because the chain is much, uh, you know, there's too much chain. So it'll back up here and then even more forward up there, it starts to pour out there. It, this thing's a complete mess. And so it needs a, an overhaul. And so I went to the hardware store. I got some uh, extra pieces here. I'm gonna try to, you know, slice and dice this thing up. What I would really like is I would like this mouth higher and over more in the middle. So that's gonna be the goal. And, um, that'll allow the chain to, to pyramid up a little bit higher so I don't have to run up here as Tanya's pulling up the anchor and fluff the chain down so hopefully it'll prevent everything backing up and ultimately just solve the problem. So that's what we're gonna do today and the first thing is is to pull all this chain out. It's muddy, our wash down quit working so that's the next step after we uh, remedy this. But yeah, we're gonna pull the anchor or the, uh, the chain out and lay it out on the dock, spray it off, and probably clean out all the mud that's surely in the bottom of this right here too. So uh, I was a little bummed they didn't have these in white, so my OCD is gonna go a little crazy, but um, it's still gonna serve the same purpose. So uh, I just hope it goes well. We're gonna find out soon. We just pulled all the chain out and this is what we're left with just as I expected it's pretty gross down in there so I don't really want to run any of that through my bilge pump so I'm gonna to try to scrape out as much as possible then what I think I'm gonna do is just take this pipe out uh, completely uh, first I'll probably make some marks of where I want to make some cuts and uh, it's just hanging by zip tie and I don't know exactly what's going on over here but I'd like to secure it better than that anyway I mean it's just it looks a mess so but Tanny's out spraying the chain right now I think I'll go ahead and start scraping this out So I got the tube out and this is quite an interesting little little setup they got here. So they actually have this pressed up against the hole, I guess to hold it forward. And then 
the chain actually filters into here first and then out. I would have thought it was a larger mouth uh, because occasionally the chain, it, it, is, it does spill out of this right here and I can see it rubs pretty good. I don't know, I, I would almost think that a, a larger mouthpiece right there would benefit. Um, but I'm also going to go ahead and take some chunks out here and hopefully point it out over here. So, But uh, this is out and now we, I'm going to go ahead and also clean out the rest of the anchor locker on the starboard side. We'll get that out and uh, this is going to be looking pretty good by the time we're done. I hope it works though, that's the big thing. Okay, so here's what I came up with. So I took a chunk of length out of here. And now I've kicked it over to where hopefully this is going to be pointed into a deeper portion of that anchor locker. Um, so uh, this is all done. I'll find a different way of hanging it, something a little more secure that, uh, than was previous. And um, Tanya's finishing up scrubbing down below. And I think we're going to go ahead and paint that and um, put everything back together tomorrow. How's it coming in here? I'm pretty done with this. That's all I got to say, it's, but it's looking pretty good. It doesn't look nearly as brown. That's that's really good. So we got everything out of here. Give it a... Well, that's pretty gross, but... I mean, that's just the color of, of old rusty chain you'll never get out. That's looking good. So, I mean, we almost don't need to paint it, but I think it's going to look great if we do. Okay, so here is the first coat of bilge coat and what a transformation like it's hospital clean now I'm not gonna get too worried about it i am trying to get up in some of the less seen areas but it's pretty difficult i got paint all throughout my hair all throughout my body my shoulder but uh it's coming along and it's actually pretty smelly in here so i'm not gonna hang out i got a fan uh, right here blowing some fresh air in there but uh coming right along so some of you are probably wondering did that new heat exchanger actually fix my problem of losing coolant no it didn't so today I went to a mechanic shop a diesel shop uh, in Bellingham and uh, I was looking to hire a mechanic and I did I actually scheduled one for June so it's still a couple weeks out uh, but he asked me a few questions about uh, the leak and he uh, he had mentioned that uh, sometimes the, the motor can actually pump coolant to a hot water heater that way the hot water heater actually will will heat water underway while using your motor Pfft, way over my head I had no idea that that was a thing well here we are back in here and sure enough uh, I found two hoses coming from my motor that lead into the hot water tank and guess what it's leaking so this is my rear quarter berth and in this bilge at one point, I actually did find some water. I didn't know where it came from. I pumped it out, I dried it out. Never thought much more about it. The one to the back now, this one also contained water. And I thought that maybe it was just a result of neglect from the previous owner. So I had, you know, cleaned them out, dried them out. Well, today, this one actually contained quite a bit of fluid. Tanny and I already remedied that. And now here, these are the two hoses right here that actually lead from the engine. Now, can't really see too much, but it is a little wet. And the, the board that it's on right here is a little wet. I ran the motor and I was trying to see if I could just see it kind of gushing out. And unfortunately, there was no such thing. But I can, I can turn this, this uh, hose with my hand on this fitting. So that's not a very good connection. They had a hose clamp here that's not even connected. So I'm gonna go ahead and on both of these uh, hoses here, redo the hose clamps, tighten them up super tight, and just go from there. Now, if that doesn't fix the problem, I would assume that it's actually an internal hot water leak. But this hot water uh, heater is brand new. This was installed by a Marine Service Center and uh, you know, I was looking at these fittings to see if anything was was wet, but down here Try not to electrocute myself. There is a little bit of water and also Right down here. It's starting to delam because this is wet as well So that tells me that this has been leaking down in here 
and if it's not going into this compartment right here then this one right here is just my main bilge and that's why I wouldn't see any floating water there's always some sort of water in here but who knows where it comes from so I'm gonna go ahead tighten those up and uh, just let's hope that that's it I, I really don't want to have to yank this hot water heater and replace that but I think I'm confident I finally found the leak so all right so I pushed the hose in probably another eight to quarter inch really crammed it in there and then backed it up with two hose clamps neither of these were even this one wasn't being used and this one was actually loose on both of them so I'm wondering if they ever tighten them down so now you can no longer turn it by hand they're on there um, I didn't actually visually see any leaks coming out of there other than just maybe a wet fingertip right here um, so I think that maybe under pressure uh, is when it happens maybe once the engine heats up and things start pumping I'm not too sure so I'll go ahead and keep a close eye on things here and uh, probably just leave these panels off and uh, I'm really just uh, let's just hope that finally that this is going to fix the problem I think I'm confident now that it's not an engine problem so um, that's really where my worries was I, I just couldn't imagine tearing apart my motor uh, so this this will ultimately be an easy fix even if I do have to pull a hot water heater um, so I guess we just need to take the boat out again run the engine and keep an eye on things and see what happens living on the cheap that means home haircuts never Tenny's. done this before she's never done it before I have been cutting the side of my hair for about a year now and the top has been growing out and uh, that's hardly been touched at all but it's way too curly enough's enough summertime's here let's shave this crap off I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. I'm not picky. Oh, there it goes. All right, so it's been a couple days. I've been letting the uh, paint dry here in the anchor locker, and uh, now the refit is complete. So what I've done here is I've gone ahead and risen this tube, the angle of it, uh, just a hair and also put this bend into where now it's going to shoot the the chain into a deeper portion and hopefully when it piles right here it won't back up in this tube any longer uh, I wish I didn't have to put this rope right here and tie it uh, to this turnbuckle uh, as we can see here uh, previously it has rusted this out so I'm going to be looking at um, uh, repairing all of this right here this is the only rigging apparently that hasn't been gone through uh, back there I have quick releases uh, for the front side of that pipe so I can easily get this thing out of here if I need to and uh, now all's left is to do is just to go ahead and put the anchor back in and try not to scratch the paint 